two main religions we have in this country. My name is Imam Fuad Adeyemi, and today, by the special of God, we'll continue with the topic which we have started, which uh, I want everybody, if you have not watched the previous episode, you should go and look for it on YouTube. It is called Common Concepts. And what is the essence of common concept? The common concept here is to look at the concepts that are common to both religion, both Islam and Christianity. Fortunately, or I say incidentally, almost all these concepts are almost the same in the two religions. But unfortunately, those who don't know, they don't know. And joining me in the studio once again to continue with this discussion is our usual uh, guest. Uh, do I call them guests? Our usual uh, uh, educator, I think that's the name I will refer them to now because I've been educating, educating us in a very excellent manner. We have uh, Father Emmanuel Onamba Ifanyi. I think I'm adding that one this time around. Uh, he's uh, from St. Siri Catholic Church, Kadokuchi here in Abuja. Father, you are welcome. Thank you very much. You have made research on me. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, you, you, you mentioned once, you say, Alimare Ma'aman Ahabba. So, uh, it is you that want to, 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 to translate it to people. Tell us. Uh, that a man is always with people that he's in love with. Right. Uh, so that is why I have to look for it. And it's also a sheikh. Perhaps many of us don't know that uh, Reverend Father is a sheikh. But I'm also to introduce uh, Imam Dr. Muhammad Kabir Adam. Imam is from the National Mosque here in Abuja. Imam, you are welcome once again. Thank you very much. And in our course of... Uh discussion mm -hmm. you prove to everybody that he's a sheikh he's a sheikh no 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 this, <laughs> uh, those who don't believe me just yes. wait and see you will know that father yes. is a why sheikh why do you always <laughs> emphasize this fact <laughs> because i know you are a sheikh <laughs> okay in well, in, in, in uh, uh, where you lecture in benway what do you teach islamic studies and arabic so <laughs> somebody who teaches arabic and islamic studies who is he he's a sheikh so, so, so l let me tell you, mm -hmm. I have a professor of Arabic studies. You knew him, okay? Professor Isaac Ogumbi. Ogumbi. It was my lecture. Yes, yes. So, 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 uh, he was a. Is a Jehovah Witness? Yes. Christian. Exactly. Yeah. Not just a Christian. He is a Jehovah Witness. Yes. Yeah. And uh, up okay. to today. Up to today. Yeah. Well, we'll be starting today's program uh, by appreciating one man in Ocean States. His name is Bola Oyebamiji, Commissioner for Finance in Ocean State. He's also the Balogun Mosulumi of Ikiri land. He has sponsored the building of a secretariat for the Christian Association of Nigeria in Irewole, local government of Ocean State. What's your opinion? Uh, is this is a very big lesson for mm. us in this country. Mm. Uh, my mind always go back to those who destroy house of worship. Probably some Muslim who destroy churches or some Christians who destroy Muslim. Mm -hmm. Here is somebody who knows the value of the house of God, mm -hmm. who is even building it up for the the, the, the people of other faith. Mm -hmm. So those who go to destroy, mm -hmm. what is your motivation? Mm -hmm. Why somebody is here building mm -hmm. a religious house for the other people of other religion? I think. Nigerians should learn so that we have peace in this country. Those who are fomenting trouble should learn the real dictates of their faith and uh, will, not, will not have problem in this country. For those who are building the house of God, of course they know what they are doing because they know it is something that, yes, they deserve to do it because they know what they will get from it. But for those who wanted to go and destroy it, to me they are helping devil or they're I executing devil. devilish <laughs> work. Okay. Yeah. So there is no way you can be allowed in any religion, especially Islam and Christianity, to go and destroy the house of worship. It's okay. not it's not allowed Islamically. Okay. And it's not allowed in Christian also. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you. On behalf of Abrahamic Mission team, we want to appreciate Alaji Bola Uyebanji, the Commissioner for Finance in Ocean State, and the Balogun Musulumi of Ikiri Land, for sponsoring the building of Christian Association of Nigeria in Irewole local government of Ocean State. Uh, we thank you, we congratulate you, and we hope that it will be a light for others. It will be a guide for others to see that 
you can actually live together, not just live together, in peace and in brotherhood. So thank you so much. Uh, let's begin to read some of the messages which we have received. Uh, somebody writes, it says, Happy Sunday to you all in the studio. I'm in love with the program. It is very important to educate ourselves, to avoid religious conflicts. You are doing a great show by teaching all Nigerians to be united as one irrespective of religion. We are all from God and we should love each other. In the Bible, God said love is the greatest, is the greatest and you should love your neighbors as yourself. May God bless Nigeria. My name is Fumilayo Ayokunle Ernest from Ondo State. You know, I say, good evening, sir. I'm sending my question from Sabungeri Kano. My question is, how comes the Muslim did not forbid Boko Haram using Islam umbrella to commit their killings or execution of their victims by reading the Quran before killing? If Boko Haram is not branch of Muslim, thanks. I think, well, I'm afraid. Initially, I wanted to say, I think he, want to, he wants you to answer it, but I... He, he might also have a good answer. Don't let me say a better answer. I I will answer with his response at the at the symposium yes. organized by the exactly. Israeli Empire. You mentioned that. You exactly. said exactly. You responded to this question by telling us that those people who kill, they are not doing the will of Allah. Even though they may be using the word of Allah, they are they are possessed by another spirit not the spirit of islam yeah, those are if i can remember those are the words you use and mm. I, please complete it mm. so <laughs> what i him. says what i says you know uh, human beings naturally they are evils that is why god in his infinite mercy chooses few of us to send them as prophets to deliver his messages to us so that that message can regulate our minds and heart. So who decided not to accept that? Definitely his mind will remain the devilish mind. So whoever has that mind, devil mind, he can use anything that available before him, which includes the scriptures. Okay. So if that man knows how to recite Quran, he may use the Quranic verses to serve his own devilish interest. But for those who know actually the meaning of this verse, they know they are contrary to what he is doing. Because Islam says when you kill a soul, you will be regarded as somebody who killed the entire humanities. So where did they get their own idea of killing an innocent people? In fact, Islam did not allow anybody, even if he was offended, to kill, but rather to take his matter to court of law. The court will now try the case. If he was found guilty, then the court knows what to do. What to do. Okay. It is only court of law that have the right to sentence somebody to death based on what he did okay. no one even even father father cannot kill his son mm, that is too far yes you cannot kill yourself <laughs> you, yes. you cannot kill That's yourself yes. Is yes. Not yes. Yes. in islam you cannot, cannot kill, yourself kill yourself because you don't own it yes, yes. you are alive owned by the creator of that life so that is that's it that is to say even the father and the yes. son that one is too far yes mm. it's too too far Ha, well, thank you so much. Somebody you give an example. You say if you come from a very decent family, that you are plenty in that family, everybody knows you for everything good, and one or two now begin to steal and begin to commit things. Are they doing it on behalf of that family? No. Not at all. Not not at all. That is exactly the one, those who are killing in the yes. name of Islam or any religion, that is the way they are. I said they could regard it as bastard. If at all, they are actually from that family. And Let me to continue, add, please. To, to add something, mm -hmm. the victim of Boko Haram, 98% mm -hmm. of them are mm -hmm. Muslims. Okay. Exactly. He said, he oh, you two said exactly. Yeah, exactly. He mentioned that I can remember vividly. Okay. Now because let's most continue. of the those who populate Northern Nigeria are Muslim. And the, 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 the members of Boko Haram are not coming down to the south to kill. They are killing those who are in the north. Do you want me to add so one the, more for you? They are headquarters in Mali. Yes. You remember, 
they have the one they call Islam or something. Okay. That's yes. what, that is the headquarters of Islam in the entire West Africa. The first university, the greater university that many of us, uh, 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 what is the name of this? Uh, Timbuktu. Timbuktu. Yes. Uh, there's a university there. I want to remember the and Sankore. Sa Two Sankore. Are, yeah. Sankore University. Sankore yes. University. That has been there since about seven centuries. Se yes. Very ancient. These people went and destroyed. And went and destroyed. And destroyed it. Let's continue. <laughs> so, Let's continue. So so not, to let you know, yes. Muslims are the first victims, victims yes. of <coughs> this thing. Boko Haram. Uh, this man writes, he says, you are on a great mission to this, our generation. God bless you all. Evangelist King Mao. I think uh, we might not be able to read more than this. You can also be part of this message by sending your SMS or WhatsApp message. But please don't call to this number, 070-449-44949. Once again, 070-449-44949. That is the number to send your messages to. But don't go away. We'll soon be back. We'll go on a short break now. We rest assured that you will enjoy the audio. The... Yeah, welcome back. You are just joining us. This is Abrahamic Mission. And today we are continuing with our discussion, common concepts. And joining, in, joining me in the studio to discuss this is Imam Muhammad Kabir Adam from uh, National Mosque. Imam, once again, you are welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, also we have uh, Reverend Father. Is Reverend there? But there is Father Emmanuel Unamba Ifanyi. He is uh, from. Kado Kuchi Centurion Catholic Church here yes. in Abuja. Reverend, you are welcome. Father, Thank you are welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, there's a Reverend Father. Uh -huh, yes. Because I know his Reverend Father. But, but most times we just say Father. father. So yes. I remember shorts. when I was small, the only thing I know is Father. And mm -hmm. uh, I started yes. speaking English with fathers. So that is why every Catholic man to me is a father. So you are welcome yeah. once again. Thank you so much. Ha, we'll be discussing, like I said earlier, like we have started. In our previous uh, episode, we have discussed concept of God, creation, prophet, book. We've started angels too. That is a common concept between the two religions. Angels. Briefly, for those who might not watch it, what is the concept of angel? Just briefly. Yes, the, the angels were created before the creation of man. Mm -hmm. So they are the ministering spirits Good. of God whom God uses to achieve his goals, whichever message, them different ministries, ministries okay. to carry out their function. Imam. The same thing. Angels were creations uh, of God. God created them from light. Okay. While human beings were created from a clay. Jinn were created from the fire. Okay. So the angels were given different portfolios to come and sub human beings is it in islam they are also in the ministry by ministry too. yeah yeah so it's the same thing yes that's okay. why i use portfolio portfolios yes <laughs> okay okay yes. okay so it means those who are appointing ministers yes. they are actually copying god yes, yes exactly god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually. okay you know you know even 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 a country used to present budget okay annually okay of course god himself has a day of presenting his budget to the, the, the budget of what will happen in the entire year. And when is that? So that we that is the night of majesty. Eh, okay, we'll talk about that when yes. we get there. <laughs> we, we, we talk about that. Yes. But something that also leads to this, there's one angel that is a challenge to everybody. Although I've heard some traditionalists say the concept of that needs to be explained better, that many people don't understand, and that is the concept of devil. The Christian call it Satan. The Muslim call it Shaitan. I've listened, to, but let me listen to you first because I've listened to so many other religions, especially the African traditional religion. They said the concept of the, but is devil an angel? Father, let me start from you. He actually, the devil is an angel because uh, the underground uh, reason is that God cannot create evil. He cannot create a devil. So he created angels to obey his will and to carry out his purpose. But this angel turned around. And actually, the original name is Lucifer. And Lucifer means the shining one. He was an intelligent angel. According to the Bible? Yes. He's an intelligent angel, the shining one, who 
was bright and that's why he had the courage to challenge God. Why he became the devil that he, is that he challenged God. He, he felt that he's now capable of being God. Mm -hmm. So that's why he became the devil. When you, when, you, when you want to be, when you become so proud, you want to challenge your maker, you end up being a devil. So he, he tried to challenge God. He was not obeying the will of God. And so he was dethroned. He was chased down from the glories of heaven. And as I mentioned last, the last episode, Michael, another angel, we refer to him as Archangel Michael, the leader of the battle of the Lord, fought with the devil and chased him down to the earth. And so, instead of enjoying the glories of heaven, be like every other angel, friend of God, he now became an enemy of God. And since he's now an enemy of God and he has been destined for hellfire, mm. he's going about looking for those who, who will also join who him, join him yes. in that kingdom of his. And so, uh, these days, we, anybody who commits any evil, we say is devil. devil. Is the devil because he does not believe that the devil is looking as many, pe looking for as many people as possible to join him in his own kingdom, the the kingdom of darkness. That is the hellfire. So to answer your question again, the devil was an angel of God created as other angels, and uh, the church again emphasizes that. Even up to today, God did not withdraw all those power, his intelligence and all those from him. And that's why he's still able to deceive people. His other name is deceiver, the adversary, the devil, Satan. So all those are his attributes. You know, that's illustrates to us, yes, the, if, if the evil won. Mm. <laughs> and that's why somebody <laughs> said the difference between devil and evil is just one letter. <laughs> Remove the D and it becomes evil. <laughs> so the devil is intelligent. He says trap. And uh, from the book of Genesis already, the creation, we see that he's one that led the, 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 the Eve, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve to, to disobey God also, to follow in his own footsteps. Because he he, 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 he he suggested to them, do you think that God, he, this will happen if you eat the fruit? No. The, no when, his when, intelligence. When, when, when they were asked not to eat the forbidden tree. Yes. He was telling them, don't you know that there's something secret in that tree? That hmm. if you eat it, you will be like God. <laughs> so those are his <laughs> tricks. He makes you feel that this is not a sin. Just do it. And when you sin... You are at the same level with him and you will end up in his own kingdom. So the devil exists. But uh, I must add that uh, the way people use the devil mm -hmm. as the cause of their activities, action, activities now is, 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 wrong. is over. It's wrong. It's wrong. Anybody who is caught stealing, we say is the devil. Anybody who has caught doing embezzling money or uh, corruption, you say is the devil. No. The devil he... will not be happy with that. <laughs> Because we commit a whole lot of evil and then attribute it to devil, which is not correct. You know, from the beginning. From the beginning, Quran chapter two mm. made mention that it kala rabuka lil malai katis juduni adam fasajadu illa ibilisa aba wastakbar. God after creating Adam. You started translating it. Yeah. Okay. God after creating Adam. He now call on angels, mm -hmm. tell them, bow down to Adam, my creator, my, my, my creature. I created him and I commanded you to prostrate for him. Yes, to prostrate, respect him. They all did what they were commanded, except the Satan. He was with them, but he refused. He refused to do it. The Quran says, for that, he become unbeliever because he disobey God. So, uh, uh, according to Islamic perspective, what happens when God creates Adam by uh, using clay? So, Adam's shape was model and put inside in in one area in the heaven. This Satan come to pass by that he now look at him because he read in out of his knowledge he read 
what will happen to this man? So he now look at him. He now look at him very well. So this this thing will be given power more than me? I don't think so. So from there, the enmity started between Satan and man. So when God asked them to prostrate, paying a respect to him, they all did, but he refused. Another chapter, I think it is chapter 17, no, chapter 16, that is Surah Al-Isra. Men mentioned that Inna uh, illa Iblisa except Iblis, that is Satan. Then the chapter says, Inna hu kana min al jinni fa fasaka an amri rabbihi. He is living with them, but originally he was from jinn. But he was promoted to the rank of angels. That's why he was with them. In fact, as Reverend Father made mention, he was knowledgeable. He has so many knowledge about so many things. Even some of the angels they don't have. So that what misled him to become arrogant. Mm. That arrogancy mm. misled him. So he disobeyed God. Then God cursed him and rejected him. He now demoted him. He cannot be with the angels again. So he become annoyed. He said, oh God, I want to ask you favor, despite the fact. He said, what is it? You demoted me, but I want you to please leave me continue living till the end of the time. So God said, your wish has been granted. Go ahead. Instead of him to thank God and obey him, that increases his arrogancy. He now make an utterance. He say, oh God, since you granted me this, I know you will not change your word. I know that. What I will do, this man, that is Adam, and his children, that is the entire mankind, he said, I'm going to lead them astray by all means. Mm. He says, by all, all means. means, except whom you guided. So the only thing you can do to escape devil is to do what God said, asks you to do. Then God will protect you against devil. Otherwise, his power is more than what you can have. Hmm. There is no way you can escape from him except with the help of God, the creator. So that is why the prophets of God, they have that protection against him. So he has no power over them. So... Uh, <clears throat> in Islam, devil or oh Satan mm. can appear in the form of anything. Mm. He can appear before you as a man. Mm -hmm. He can appear before you as a de as, 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 as a snake. Uh -huh. He can appear before you as bird. He can be appear before you in any form of creatures. Hmm. Yes, so he can manipulate somebody's mind. That is the danger of devil. So devil sometimes, or most of the cases, play human's intelligence. Being an intelligent, you know, if you want to take over somebody who was intelligent, you have to be intelligent, more intelligent, intelligent. More intelligent than mm -hmm. him otherwise. So that's what Satan is doing. So Satan always is there he has so many uh let me say soldiers he have so many of them he have them in men in mankind he have them in jinn hmm. so he is there and we believe he is in existence he is the one who misled adam to eat the forbidden tree Fruits. Yes. What he said to him, according to the Quran. Okay. Adam, do you know why God asked you not to eat this? He did so because he don't want you to be like these angels, so that you cannot leave this place. As long as you will not eat this, one day, one day, you will be chased out. So I'm advising you, 
he keep on telling him that I am advising you. In fact, since that Adam is firm, he now go through the Eve, being a woman. Hmm. So he was able to control her mind. She too advised Adam. So when they eat the forbidden tree, of course, you know what happened. But though, as Reverend mm -hmm. Father made mention, mm -hmm. this is the issue of uh, monasticism. Monasticism. Yes. Why? Because God made mention before the creation of Adam that I am going to create man. And he is going to live on earth to monitor the affairs of earth. This was done before the creation of Adam. So, by all means, definitely Adam must to leave that heaven and come back to his constituency, which is here. So, Satan did that work. So, Adam has to come down here. So, this in, is where... In other words, God can rise straight on a crooked line. Yes. God can use a bad means to achieve... Yes, a right purpose. In other words, uh, uh, the devil is not. Many times you hear people saying that the devil is the opposite of God. Nobody can oppose God as no. such. God has no opposite. No way. God has no. Opposite. God has no opposite. Yes, and that's why he is God. If he has an opposite, then he shouldn't be God. It means that there's somebody who is equal to his mm. power. So God has no opposite. The devil can only try to manipulate. The, the, the ways of God and uh, distract what God has destined to be, but he, he wouldn't always succeed. He doesn't always succeed. And uh, the will of God is reign supreme. God, God being patient with mankind will always allow us to and allow, give us the time, give time for things to work out. Probably but if at the end his will remains supreme, <laughs> there's nothing that happens without him allowing it to be that is why he one of his names as far as islam is concerned is patience, so patience means reverend as uh, father as said it in arabic to you yeah that is as sabr yes so that is one of so it means the concept of devil is common to both religion too Yes, you agree with me. Yes, yes. So that is common. So, how do we now say people who are misbehaving they are doing things badly? But Father said, You should watch what you do so that the devil himself will not still be angry with you to say you are lying. Exactly, you know, there is a there's a little story. Maybe if you permit me, I'll tell okay, the story to illustrate it. what he has said. Uh, in, in a bus, mm. uh, somebody lost his wallet. And inside, he was a very poor person. Inside the wallet, there was little money. And so he started looking for wallet, crying out and crying out, and then seeing how, how much is in that wallet, all the things he has lost. And so people had to party on him and started contributing money, 1,000, 2,000. The money became so much that the person who stole the wallet was got angry and said, take the wallet. <laughs> There's nothing inside the wallet. Why are you saying that? I <laughs> so when we, when we say the devil has done this, the devil has done this, the devil can get angry. I said, I did not do as much. You are human beings, and God has given you power to, to carry out reason. actions. Yes. So do not blame me. Somebody will leave his house, carry the, the gun, go into another person's house, rob, carry the goose, and go. And when you are caught, you say, it's the devil. Mm -hmm. Is it the devil that gave you the leg to go mm -hmm. there and pushed you mm -hmm. to go there? Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. not at all. That is why, uh, as far as Islam is concerned, Quran is telling us that God is not commands anybody to do evil. God did not command anyone to do evil. evil. Okay. Ha, let me now it has been established. There is one thing or institution that I know is common to both religion, but we surprise so many people. And that issue or institution is the is institution of Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. The Muslim call Mary Maryam, and the Christian call her Mary. Let me start from Imam to shock people. 
who or who was or who is Mary according to Islamic teaching? Wow. According to Islamic teaching, Mary is the mother of Jesus. Hmm? Yes. She was born in a family of Imran, according to the Islamic uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. Her mother, Hannah, mm -hmm. when she... The name, of the, the name of the mother the, the of, of Mary. Mary. The name of mother of Mary. Yes, who Hannah. happened to be the grandmother of Jesus. Mm -hmm. When she become pregnant, mm -hmm. she now make a bow to Allah that whatever I give birth, I promise it will serve you in the Jerusalem uh, in the Jerusalem in the Jerusalem let me use uh, synagogue, uh, synagogue synagogue, synagogue. synagogue. Let's, yes. I want us to end it there okay that when Mary uh, is it Mary that said it or no Hannah it is Hannah the Hannah mother of when Mary if she put to bed yeah the child she will dedicate it to service of God in yeah, the synagogue exactly we now go on short break from there okay we'll pick it from the synagogue but don't go away. We, I want you to have something, to sip something. That's why we go on short break now, because you will be happy and you'll be surprised. Nigeria, our great nation with vast and rich land. Our people are strong and united. Our founding fathers, Sir Ahmed Bello, Sir Abu Bakar Tafabalewa, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, and a host of others bequeathed us a united, peaceful, and prosperous Nigeria. Let us honor them by living in peace with one another. Let us eschew violence, ethnic profiling, and religious bigotry. We must avoid hate speech and other forms of derogatory words against our fellow Nigerians. Let our differences in tribes, cultures, religions, or politics be the ingredients that make our unity palatable. Let us all join hands to fight our common enemies of insecurity. Poverty and unemployment. Nigeria is big enough for us all. Let's unite to make our country a great place for us all. This message is from Sir Ahmad Bello Memorial Foundation in collaboration with Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. Yeah, welcome back. Imam is telling us that when Anna, she made a vow to God that when she put to bed, she will dedicate the child to the service of God in the synagogue. Oh, yeah, so this was there in Quran chapter 3 verse 35 to, to 37. Okay. Just for the reference. Okay. Can you, can you just scroll it, read it for us before I come to it? Well, uh, that is... Uh, إذ قالت امرأة عمران رب إني نذرت لك ما في بطني محررا فتقبل مني إنك أنت السميع العليم. I think Reverend Reverend oh, memorized this exactly. verse because he's reading it. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So the meaning says when the wife of Imran That's said, verse yeah, said, Oh my Lord, I have vowed to you what the child that is in my womb. To be dedicated for your services, free from all worldly work, mm -hmm. to serve you, to, to serve your place of worship. So accept this from me. Verily, you are the all here, the all knower. Falamma wada'adha, qalad rabbi inni wada'atuha untha. Then, when she gave birth to her, she said, Oh my Lord, I have given birth to a female child. And Allah knows better what she brought forth. I think that's all right. And, uh, I think let's stop there. Okay. So, from there, the mother of Mary respected her promise to God. Mm -hmm. So, she now took Mary to the synagogue. prophet of that time mm. who is in charge of that synagogue Zachariah. that is Zachariah we call, mm -hmm. we call him Zachariah okay so Zachariah accepted her so Mary grown off in his household when she reached the age of maturity some says 18 she's doing her job inside the synagogue one day, 
after she finished she finishes her menstruation that is woman menstruation she gave birth, she, she went and get bath on her way coming back that is quran chapter 18 that is what we call chapter of mary oh 19 uh, eh? chapter 19 19 y yeah chapter 19 <laughs> that is chapter of mary okay in arabic surah to maryam okay so it means maryam has a surah in the quran yes okay i want you to quickly read because i'm eager to so hear. so god says in the quran so Mary, she's become a matured lady now. Mm -hmm. So she has a particular place in that synagogue where she lead, she do her things. Okay. So one day, Angel Gabriel appeared before her in the shape of beautiful man, handsome man. When she saw him, she said, I seek Allah's refuge against you. Please, the mass, uh, please don't harm me. Please fear God. That's what she says. He said to her, don't worry. I'm a messenger of God to you to inform you that you are going to give birth to a baby boy. Hmm. She says, "How comes one? I'm not. A, I'm not married. I'm not prostitute. I have never had contact with any man. How comes this is Islam? This is Quranic uh, chapter, 19. chapter 19. Yes. He said, "That is not my own working. My own is just to deliver, to deliver the, message. the message to you." And he left. In another chapter, God says. Uh, ومريم ابنة عمران التي أحسنت فرجها فنفخنا فيه من روحنا. Mary, the daughter of Imran, who protected her virginity. This was confirmed that Mary is virgin. According to the teaching of Quran. Exactly. She is virgin. I'm sure that what Catholic Church is saying. You know, there's virgin Mary. Yes, there's other phrase. The phrase where it says Lamian. No man has ever touched Yes. So, perpetual virginity of Mary. Yes. So, from there, God says, we put into her womb the soul of Jesus Christ. Okay. I will still come back. This is how she became pregnant. Okay. I will still come back to you. Yes. Let me quickly go to our father. People who are just, who are suspicious of what I say when I refer to him as a sheikh. He now gave the Arabic uh, translation of what Imam is saying. So if you don't know, you better know. Who is or was Mary, I according think, to the Christian teaching? I think uh, this is more interesting than what I would say, because most Christians already know about Mary, but they don't know about this. What about they don't, what? They don't know about this, that Mary has a prime place in Islam. In Islam. That he has a chapter in the in Quran. Fact, she's the first lady she, of Islam. Yes. The name Mariam, uh, you know, you, you were talking about yes. Mariam, the, yes. the, 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 that, uh, the Christian call, call, her, Mary call her Mary, and the Muslim, Muslim Mariam. call her Mariam. I, I, I beg to differ because Mariam is Arabic, mm -hmm. and there are Christian Arabs okay. who call her Mariam. Yes. So Mariam is the name of Mary. Oh. It's just that it's the name in Arabic. Okay. You understand it? Mm -hmm. It's not as if Christian call her Mary. It's not all Christians who are in we'll English speaking. Okay. So those who are Arabs, Christians. She's still Mariam. She's still Mariam. She's still Mariam. But some Christian so, here, if you mention the mother of Jesus as Mariam, they feel like say ex exactly, exactly. I, 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 I was coming to that. You okay. know, there, there, there is a. I will give another uh, story to illustrate that a priest like me. Mm. You know, when a new new children are born mm. we do what is called uh, baptism, baptism introducing them into the christian faith mm. so this couple from lebanon we are living in nigeria so they came for baptism, baptism. and uh, the priest asked them what name will you give this little girl and the mother said we'll give her mariam and the priest said god forbid <laughs> how can you give 
a Christian child a Muslim name. Mm. You see, ignorance is a disease. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the priest doesn't know that this two, these two couples are <laughs> Christians. Christians, <laughs> and that the name Mariam is Mary. It's not just that is any other Mary, but the same Mary, the Virgin Mary we are talking about. So he didn't know. He said, "God forbid." God forbid. Over something that is the same, exactly the same. So Mariam is Mary. It's just the language that that makes it different. So, so Mary is the uh, as oh, I, I'm just be repeating exactly what he said please because I was just following him, repeat following him along. Please, and uh, please you know we are it. earlier discussing um, the Shaitan. Mm -hmm. And you know one of the interesting part of uh, the story of Mary is that the mother mm -hmm. who yeah. you were talking about mm -hmm. made that profession. Auzubiha wa zuriata ha mina Shaitan Rashid. That's so, the mother of Mary. Yes. Made that prayer. That. Oh God, mm. I seek your refuge. Protection. To protect her against the Satan. Satan. To protect her and her children. Children, the offsprings. The also, who Jesus is her child. Yes. From Satan, we have we have talked about. The, so the we regime. in Islam, we in Islam, exactly. that prayer that was made by Hannah, mm. the mother of Mary, mm. we were taught to do mm. it on For every, every new blessed baby. Yes, yes. Uh, it is from Mary. Yes. yes. Mm. So exactly. you see the origin of the. You, <laughs> you know, the this day Muslims say, "Aus billahi, aus billahi." That is where it comes That's from. Where it comes from. No, you've not completed yours. I want to know <laughs> what does the, okay. the Christian concept okay. about Mary? Okay, Mary, just as he said, the, the, she was a virgin. Mm -hmm. She never knew any man. And then the angel appeared to her, mm -hmm. telling her that she will conceive and bear a son. His name will be called Jesus. He will be. And Mary was as just as surprised as you were saying. I said, how will this be? How when comes? I, how can you happen when I don't know man that I have not I have no knowledge and I of have man. no interest and uh, and the angel says man. and the angel says and that's exactly how it is repeated <laughs> in the Quran. The angel says that is the will of God. Once Allah says, let it be, it will be. How will, Allah, how will Allah say it? Allah say kun fayakun. Uh, yeah. It was was Allah say let it be, it, it will, will be. be, it will be. So Mary accepted immediately and, and she, she replied and said and the handmaid of the lord be it done to me as you have said is it that that's the, the, that's the one in the bible yes exactly and that's exactly what's in the quran yeah. and that's why mary is referred to as muslima mm -hmm. because she submitted to the words of the angel that submission saying i am the handmaid of the lord no more argue i'm submitting to your way because and immediately is, yeah she became pregnant exactly she began pregnant. At the same time, yeah. Immediately she became pregnant. Too. Exactly. Immediately the word was spoken. Mm. God don't need any other thing. Just speak the word, and Mary became pregnant. That was the. That was the 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 word was in the made beginning. flesh. Okay, the, the word, word was, was made, made flesh. flesh. Okay, okay. Mm, yeah, exactly. Uh, so Mary conceived and gave birth to Jesus, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you know the, the people uh, uh, around were the same suspicion. Say, what is happening? Uh, how can this be? Because Joseph, the, the story began with Joseph, who was presented as the foster father of Mary. Mm. She's not the, Joseph, the carpenter. This yes, time exactly. The he's not the biological the father. father of Jesus, but he's presented as the guardian, which today we refer to him because, as the guardian. Because of, as far as you married her. Uh, yes, yes uh, exactly. Uh, uh. Even according to Islam, when she gave birth to Jesus, Joseph assisted her mm. yes. in taking care mm. of because she was there alone yes so where she gave birth she was there alone uh, some 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 philosophical books yes describe that situation i know it will be strange to the two of you they call them the esen e double -S, s e n i don't know you ever Essence, come yeah yes. the esen this the group of mystical people, group the mystical group mm. yes which no no it is history that refer to them as mystical group mm. because this uh okay don't let me take over let me let me allow you to continue uh, so 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 mary conceived and a uh, uh, body child I, I was going to the story of joseph the carpenter <laughs> who when he saw that mary was pregnant he said what's happening here i'm the husband so uh, and i have no knowledge of this pregnancy so he made up his mind to divorce 
Mary mm -hmm. informally, mm -hmm. so to repudiate her. But the angel appeared to we have discussed the yes. angel. The angel appeared to him in a dream and say, "Don't do that. You can't do it. Yes, you can't <laughs> do it. That this child is by the will of God. Mm -hmm. It's God who have allowed this to happen. Mm -hmm. So from that moment, the, the Joseph again submitted. Say, I hand over <laughs> I, okay. that that uh, God." Is the one who have made this to happen i will continue to be the guardian of my this. natural question will be where you stop okay. jesus christ all right because you said mary was pregnant at that day i think the natural question should now be how did you but, 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 but let me let me add something on the delivery okay when <clears throat> when mary uh when the labor came for her mm -hmm. according to quran chapter 19 good she walk for certain distance mm -hmm. she walked for certain distance then the labor came and she gave birth what i learned from here mm -hmm. i go to the hospital mm -hmm. then i saw in the uh, uh, antenatal clinic mm -hmm. they asked pregnant women to walk for certain yes distance of yes that will assist to her make the delivery easy, easy. So that what okay, made I still want you to take it up now. So when she delivers, uh -huh. and people are now making guesses, like, where do where do you get this baby? What According to the Quran, mm -hmm. after she has delivered him, mm -hmm. she took him. Of course, she has to go back mm -hmm. to the city. Mm -hmm. When people saw her with a child, say, Ah, yes, Mariam, <laughs> what happened? Where did you get this child? Mm -hmm. Of course, she has no answer mm -hmm. to their question. So, according to the Quran, she now pointed at the, the newborn baby. A, a day old baby. A, a half day. <laughs> okay, a half day. A half day. Is still on that same day. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, she now pointed at him. Let him answer you. Eh, eh? How can a day old baby <laughs> That what they said to her. Hmm. Anna, how can, how, can, how can he talk to us? Hmm. He was just being born now. An infant like him, mm -hmm. he just started. Who started? Jesus himself. On the cradle? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he started answering them that I was the servant of God. Yes. And I am the messenger of God. Mm -hmm. I was commanded to obey my mother mm -hmm. and worship God and to establish prayers mm -hmm. and pay charity from what i have this is what quran says so this is what happened on that day fine we have started from the beginning <laughs> how jesus was born <laughs> father continue yes yeah. now the, because of the you know i already talked about joseph being the foster father <laughs> because of the presence of joseph mm. uh, in the christian tradition mm. we, there was no suspicion mm -hmm. because joseph pre uh, sort of pretended that he's he the, father. Is the father of the child okay you know he had wanted to divorce the child informally but the angel told him no just be there as the foster father so when it was time to to give birth to the child mm -hmm. there there was caesar augustus the 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 jerusalem at the time the jewish land was under the uh, roman rule of the romans yeah. empire so caesar augustus had issued a decree for every person to go back to his homeland to be counted a general census so it was on that journey it was on that journey that Jesus was giving birth to in, Jer in, in, in Bethlehem. And that's what we celebrate in Christmas Day. Again, referring to moving. Mm. You know, in the, it was not, many people would think that it's these days that you enter a car and go to where you want to know. They moved the on foot. Mm. And they, it was as they were there for the census that Mary... Uh, was becanted. Began, yeah, began, uh, entered into labor. And... Uh, they went to the all the places where they could lodge. Mm. There was no room. So they ended up in the house of animals. And that's why when you see the Christmas creep today, you see animals shepherd around because the child Jesus was giving birth to in the home of animals. And, and that place is Church of Nativity today. Yes, exactly. In Jerusalem, a church and is the world, today. Uh, Jerusalem, uh, Bethlehem, is actually an Arabic word, Bethel Ah. The place where lamb used to yes, stay. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. 
So Jesus because, you know, born. lamb is animal. Animals, yes. yeah. Yes. Meat. Mm -hmm. yes. So Jesus was born in that uh, place. And then the angels again, we have made reference to angels several times. Mm -hmm. The angels uh, came and announced the good news to everyone that today a savior of the world has been born. In, and, in, uh, the, in the city of Bethlehem. In the city of Bethlehem. That will become uh, the king of the world. Yes. That. And, uh, <laughs> and then, and then the, the, the famous proclamation glory to god in the highest mm -hmm. and on earth peace to people of goodwill mm -hmm. goodwill the importance of that goodwill is what i want to emphasize mm -hmm. if you don't have goodwill you will not have peace there are people who are fomenting trouble and uh, you don't want others to have peace if you are not a person of goodwill you will not have peace there's a saying among the Yorubas. I, I don't know how to put it before you laugh at me that that, uh, that uh, um just say that it in English. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can recall it. Exactly. A person, a person who is very, very wicked, we end up finding salt, in, uh, worms inside his salt. Hmm. You know? Hmm. Salt is a very toxic substance. Something, for something will not leave. Leave inside. But when you are not of good will, when you are a wicked person, you will end up finding salt, uh, inside worms inside, inside your, your salt. salt. Hmm. So the birth of Jesus brought about peace and good will to all creation. So... It, 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 uh, whenever we celebrate Christmas, we call upon people to have good way. That's why during Christmas, you know, giving of gifts, opening up and celebrating, uh, giving food to one another. That's what the birth of Jesus is, sharing love among uh, the people of humanity. So it's very important for so, us. So Christmas. from here, 30 seconds. Now. From here, just to say, Jesus in his lifetime, according to the Quran, mm -hmm. he killed so many things miraculously mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. he killed a blind man mm -hmm. he killed uh what do you deaf. call the deaf mm -hmm. in fact he even Raised made the the, yes mm -hmm. okay the i think we 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 Come might almighty. actually now yeah you say yeah. what yakum almighty he, yes. he, he raised somebody who, has, <laughs> who is dead. Mm -hmm. And oh, let me add one more to the two of you. He created a, a, a dove. Yes, and breathed on it. In Surah to, in the Quran, too, yes. he created, I think we we'll, we'll use that dove because dove means peace. Mm -hmm. If you actually worship God, you should be conscious of the peaceful nature that God wanted you to maintain in this universe. I want to thank you, Father, for this beautiful exposition of uh, the thing we have discussed today and the amount that has made us to believe that Mariam is Mariam, whether it's Mary, that the Englishman calls it, or anything, that that concept of Mariam is still our own. Christian owns it, Muslim owns it, and is the first person in uh, uh, Islam, the first lady in Islam. Even though because we don't have time, uh, we want to thank everybody for being there and we want to thank you for coming. But before I go, in one second, I want to pray for our own uh, Archbishop Peter Ogumuiwa, who is recently appointed the Archbishop of Abuja Diocese of the uh, African Church. Uh, Bishop, congratulate. We congratulate you and we pray God in his infinite mercy. We support you and promote you continue to make the work easy for you. Until we meet next week, my name is still Imam Fuadadiyemi. Saying bye-bye.